message titled why prayers are not answered I have come to realize that there are many reasons why prayers are not answered when prayers are not answered frustration sets in when prayers are not answered people backslide when prayers are not answered people blame God when prayers are not answered people walk with anger in their spirit when prayers are not answered, people get derailed. And I asked the Lord, why do people get to that extent? He said there are reasons. And these reasons carry the question, why are prayers not answered? The Bible says that um, when we pray, as Jesus said in the book of Mark chapter 11, verse 24, Therefore I say unto you, whatsoever ye desire, listen to me, it's not hard to acquire answers when you pray. Number two, your desire is not too big for God to fulfill. There is no supply you need in life that makes God shake on how to meet them unto whom who is able to do exceeding abundantly meaning when you ask God for one thing God can do it exceeding abundant God is not limited by our limitations God does not, no obstacle can stop God God is the creator and the inventor of miracles so why are prayers not answered Number one reason why prayers are not answered is when a man prays in sin. What is sin? S-I-N. Sin can be defined as Satan in nature. Sin can also be defined as those things you, those things you think God is not seeing in secret. And you think you are covering it well. Then you go to God praying, but yet you don't, you don't confess. Listen to me. When you go to God in prayer, don't hide anything express it even before you were created god knows your flaws he knows what your weaknesses are so when you go to him in prayer lay it bare the bible says confessing your faults one to another if god requires you to confess confess your fault to a brother and a sister if there is anything between you people that can cause sin how much more god sin is a major roadblock to expressly answered prayer everyone born hear me please you might think you are holy this message is for you everyone born is born into iniquity the moment you are born into this world you are born into sin it's your duty to find the light psalm chapter 66 verse 18 psalm 66 verse 18 if i regard iniquity in my heart the lord will not hear me it's okay if you find yourself falling short of glory but don't stay there the lord said tell them there are reasons why prayers don't get answered a major one is sin sin gives license to satan to stop you 
Sin gives license to Satan to hijack that which God has got in stock for you. I want to pray today Praise. that in the name of Jesus, in any ways you are falling short of the glory and now your story is finding it hard to change. I pray for mercy over your life. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. Number two reason why prayer is not answered absence of faith or praying without faith now faith is a substance of things you hope for the evidence of things not seen without faith it is impossible to please god the word please there means it is impossible to move god that is why in mark chapter 11 verse 23 says for everything for verily i say unto you that whatsoever shall say to this mountain be removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass he shall have whatsoever he said mark eleven twenty three. 23 faith is the license to remove what is unlicensed in your life come on now obstacle is an unlicensed presence Kabosha. resistance is an unlicensed presence yes sir demonic mountains are unlicensed presence so faith is your divine license to remove that which is not licensed by God to be in your life hmm. that shall say to this mountain O great mountain who art thou who art thou O great mountain before Zerubbabel thou shall be made a plain mountains cannot become a plain if if faith is not maintained in prayer give a troubled man faith he will receive peace give a dying situation faith that faith brings life to the dying situation i want to prophesy today prophesy from this moment as you pray with faith every mountain in your life shall be made a plain Amen. every mountain in your life shall be made a plain Amen. every mountain in your life shall be made a plain Amen. in the name of jesus Amen. number three why prayers are not answered the presence of fear whilst praying. What is fear? Fear is a ferocious enemy assigned to ruin. F for ferocious, E for enemy, A for assigned. R means ruin. For God has not given you the spirit of fear, but of power. Love and a sound mind. When fear is present, you cannot pray with a sound mind. When fear is present, you cannot pray with love. When fear is present, you cannot speak with power. Mark chapter 9 verse 23. Jesus said, if only thou can believe. I rebuke fear out of your life. Amen. I rebuke fear out of your brain altar. Amen. Whenever you call on Jehovah, answers will follow. Amen. Fear will not be an obstacle anymore. Amen. Fear will not derail you anymore. Amen. Fear will not stop your prayers anymore. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Number four reason why prayers are not answers. Praying are mis misfiring in prayer. James chapter 4 verse 1 misfiring in prayer james 4 1 from whence comes wars and fightings among you for they not for, come they not ends even of your lost that war in your that war in your members verse 2 ye lost and have not ye killed and desired to have and cannot obtain you fight and yet and war yet ye have not because ye ask not this is james talking about prayer then look at what he said in verse 3 ye ask and not receive because you ask amiss you misfire that you may consume it on your flesh anything you ask god that doesn't glorify god you are wasting your time my god shall supply all of my needs not once philippians 4 19 according to his riches in glory the riches in glory by christ jesus don't supply once it supplies needs god is not a pimp 
Can I prophesy? Every need in your life that needs to be met, I pray for you. From this mountain of prayer, from this intercessory altar, I prophesy all of your need shall be met. All of your need shall be sponsored. All of your need shall be supplied according to the riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Amen. Everything you want God to give you is always the sweet, sweet thing. God will give you some bitter times to give you better life. Sometimes God will give you bitterness to make you enjoy betterness. Sometimes He will take you to the wilderness so you appreciate the good days ahead. If you've not been homeless, you won't appreciate living in a good house. If hunger never wire you, if you are not, if, if you've not tasted hunger, when you see good meat, you won't thank God and eat. Matthew 26, verse 39. And he went a little further and fell on his face, saying, Oh, my father. Someone say, Oh, my father. Oh, my father. If it be, if it be what? Possible, let this what? Cup pass from me. He said, Let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as what? I will. But what? As thou will. You see how Jesus prayed? Jesus, when you are praying to God, give God the room to make the decision. If not, you will pray amiss. When you misfire during prayers, you will never acquire your heart desire. Number five. Why prayers are not answered. Praying without the scripture. I call this praying without backing. Heaven and earth will pass away. But what will stay forever? But my word, the word of God. Lord, I want to get married. I believe I'm ready to get married. Your word says, Whosoever find that a wife, find that a good thing, and obtain favor from God. Lord, look at me. I'm your daughter. I have lived virtuously. I've lived holy. I've lived righteous. I'm serving in your vineyard. Am I not the favor that should be given to one of your sons? When you pray that prayer, your husband will find you. Because you use scripture. Praying with the scripture gives your prayer balance. Exodus chapter 23, verse 25 to 26 says, And ye shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless thy bread, and thy water, and I will take sickness, sickness away from the midst of thee. 26. There shall nothing cast, there shall nothing cast their young, nor be buried in thy land. The number of thy days I will fulfill. The word days is not talking about the length of life. You know, when we see days with God, you know, it's talking about the seasons of impact in your life. That's what counts if you are alive or you're just passing through time. The number of the days I will fulfill. Look at Genesis chapter 21, verse 1. And the Lord visited Sarah. And the Lord visited Sarah. As he had said. As he had said. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. The two words there in verse 1 is what? As he has what? Said. said. And as he has what? Spoken. God does not lie when he talks. He doesn't speak to impress you. Mm. He speaks to impact you. He speaks to edify you. And the Lord did to Sarah as he has said. Remind him to get answers from God. Remind him of his word. Stop murmuring. And the Lord did to Sarah. Hi, yeah, yeah. May the Lord do to you. Amen. As he has said. Amen. May the Lord do to you. Amen. As he has promised. Amen. May the Lord do to you. Amen. As he has vowed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Number six reason why prayer isn't answered. Impatience. One of the fruits of the spirit is patience, sir. Patience is a fruit that you have the spirit of God in you. Lord, if you don't do this now, get lost. Eh? In God, we, okay, you too, get lost too. Who do you think you are talking to? You are threatening God. Let's, let's read together. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 10. What does it say? For God is not unrighteous, yeah, to forget your works 
I say this all the time so you should know. To forget your works and your what labor of love shown towards his name in that you have what? Minister to the saints and do minister. Now let's go to verse 14. It says, now saying surely I will bless thee, multiply and I will what? Multiply, multiply thee. That's what? Verse 14. 14. These are the things people focus on. End product. Microwave. But let us read verse 11. Verse 12 and 13. Now, verse 10 says, for God is not unrighteous to forget your works and your labor of love shown to in that you have ministered to the saints, shown to us his name, in that you have ministered to the saints and the minister. That's verse 10. Look at verse 11. We don't look at this one. It says, And we desire that every one of you should show the same diligence to fulfill the assurance of hope unto the end. That ye be not slothful, but followers of them through faith and what? Patience. Without patience, you cannot be pregnant in, with God. Impatience kills pregnancy. Sometimes he might be silent, but he has not forgotten. He might be silent, but he's watching you. He might be silent, but he's saying, what have you done with the last thing I told you? Because the next thing might be resting on the fulfillment and your obedience in doing the last thing. Listen to me. Your last obedience to God's word is a foundation for the next manifestation of his word. He says, be ye followers of them that through what faith and patience inherited the promise you will not die in process amen may god give you the grace to be patient with him amen may god give us the grace to be patient with him amen may god give us the grace to be patient with him amen may god give us the grace to be patient with him amen you will not get you will not give up on god amen god will not give up on you amen may you not give up on the process amen in the name of jesus amen number seven why prayers are not answered spirit of pride look at what psalms 138 verse 6 say you know what god told me i was talking to god you were talking to god <laughs> when the bible says the day you see god you surely die <laughs> and i was talking to god <laughs> i was talking to god you think that they went to drink ice cream with god last week <laughs> and they were, they were bouncing like people that ate frog rubbish don't be entertained by people's charisma and you miss to discern the spirit in them. The white men that brought this gospel to us as missionaries, they are humble. They spent their millions buying ships in those days to travel to corners of the earth. The white men we playing today, preaching this gospel genuinely, they fly to territories they don't, they don't take pictures of. Though the Lord be I, He respects the lowly, but the proud he knoweth afar. Look at what Luke chapter 18, verse 9 to 14 says. Luke chapter 18, verse 9 to 14. Quickly, because of time, Luke 18, verse 9 to 14. And he spoke this parable unto certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Verse 10, two men went up into the temple to pray, the one a Pharisee and the other a Republican. Verse 11, or oh, verse 12 now, the Pharisee stood and prayed, thus with himself, God, I thank thee, Jew, Lord, I thank thee, that I am not as the other men are. Those that say that um, other pastors are unfruitful. He's the only fruitful one. His children are fruitful. They are running ministry that has been labored by other men. Let his child go and carry chair in community center in, in Dunstable. Let us see how well he will do without the name. Nonsense. I am not like the other men. Ah, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, unfruitful, even as a publican. Stay humble before God. Pride. Say disease. Pride. That, that is the first flyer we did. That is the first. It's, it's, it's zoomed in, but something that is a rough idea. We, we just typed it up on laptop and printed it. It was the vision then. The name then was Center of Destiny Ministry. Code M, we used to call it in those days. There's nothing they did not call me. They cussed me, laughed at me, called me also. They said, is it his type? Now your type, they do ministry. 
this was any can we make this is any way we could make it better and for those online i hope they are seeing it as well can we make it better for them to see so that people can know where you started from be humble you humble yourself for god he will lift you up you don't need men to think that they are something don't don't glorify any man that is the flyer of how we started there's nothing that did not call me there's nothing that did not say this is me in the community center this this picture you are seeing there this was about um maybe two months into the thing the way we went from drastically in six months we have 70 members in a white man's town they still ganged up to scatter it pastors ganged up to scatter the church they were jealous they ganged up ganging up did not start today sir we have been dealing with that devil for a long time and it shows that i'm going somewhere that's why they gang up yes sir you don't gang up against something that's too small we've been preaching this truth long time we've been serving packing up and setting up in community i remember before i used to preach in community centers you know what i used to do ask mama i used to go into the toilet the toilet was my office in a community center i go into the toilet i would sit down on the toilet seat that's why i was reading bible toilet seat in you know how dirty committee center is you know how dirty it is on the toilet seat when i finish i used to lie down on the toilet floor to pray i used to lie down on, on the toilet floor to pray in the community i used to lie down on the floor to pray and you know my prayer i used to say lord i am on this floor i i i am not fit let this toilet show you how my life is I don't know what you what you saw in this man. That's the kind of price you pray. Not, I, I am a prophet. Prophet of yourself. I said, Lord, my life, the condition of my life is like this toilet. I'm on the floor. I don't know what you saw in this man, but please don't leave me like men has left me. I will get up, I'll dust my feet. One day, as I got up from the floor, from that toilet floor in melting community center melting community center go and find it i got up i heard the whispers of the spirit of god i will lift you up and you will know that i sent you this is nothing god has not started this is nothing what is this this is baby talk Amen. this is this is baby talk this one wait till we get to the heaven you will know that god has a master plan project we will be paying salaries in millions. Amen. There will be Christians that will not want to work for secular, they will want to work for the heavy. Amen. International staffs. Humble yourself. I remember that first service. I was waiting for people to arrive. Nobody turned up. Nobody. I stood there like this. Mama said, let us start now. I said that they are coming, they are coming. Do you know they are having their service? They will finish around 12, 12, 13. One brother kept posting us, I'm coming, I'm coming. See, we shared the grace, he was still coming. Only for the brother to one day tell me, I don't do all this rat race church. He called the things of God rat race ministry. I, I looked at him. I said, you, op you open your mouth and you say rat race, me rat race. Me rat race. You will know there is a God. I just left him and walked away. I know I don't used to respond to those people. Today's ma, this brother is a nobody. He's running the rat race in his bedroom. Be careful what you say to God. Do not, de de not don't despise humble places and humble beginnings. Don't pray with pride. Don't lift your shoulders up. Humble yourself. Your see, your highest achievement does not impress God. In fact, with God, it is nothing you've not started. There is nothing. There is nothing. Humble yourself in prayer. Humble yourself. I wish. Please, can we prepare it for this Sunday? Pictures every. So we will know. You will know where we started praying from. Please don't put fine, fine pictures. Or put. I know the ones. No, don't put. Put the ones. Let people see the real suffer. Let people see the real deal on Sunday. You will know where we prayed for. When I talk like this, I know the God that has been helping me. If it's not this God, if it was men, ah, they would have, I would have been disgraced. 
Today, some of them are calling me my son. I say, your son, I'm, 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 listen, I'm not, you, 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 are, you are childless, I'm not your son. I know my father, my father is in heaven. See, 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 put it there, put it there. See, that, that picture looks like someone hungry is killing. Eh? Where is the picture now? See this? And this is the day I'm supposedly where? You will not be coming and be talking to me now. No, we have, we have, it's been a journey. And this is barbecue party. Oh. That party you are seeing, we, we did barbecue and um, community outreach. I remember that there was barbecue community outreach. I was there, I was not seeing food. Oh. You know when you, you, you see food, you don't have appetite. Because you are suffering, you don't know where the next church bill will how it will be paid. You don't know how your rent will be paid as a pastor. You are living with threats, preaching this gospel, insults, and betrayals. You are smiling, but it's just face value smile. Only God knows what is going on in the belly. Humble yourself, sir. God is taking you somewhere. They called me names. They called me names. They still call me names. I went to have my air cut. Thank God for freshness. A couple of days ago, as I entered the air salon, guess who I met at the door? The ones that used to gossip me. I met him at the door, at the, at the barber shop. Hey, hello, hello. I just said, hello, how are you? Morning to you too. I walked past, went to sit down. Greet me because you saw me. You can greet me. You know where I am. The same church I've been to the church three, four times. How many of them have come here? I started ministry eight years ago and counting. They've never visited it today. But yeah, they tell you we love you. Keep your dirty love to yourself. If they cannot share your picture on their social media, they're not family. Mm. If they cannot celebrate your projects, run from them. They're your enemies behind the back. Don't let them, don't, don't take their laugh. Humble yourself and say, Lord, I am not fit enough. Keep me. That's why David, David kept praying. That's why God kept David from his enemies. Don't forget the place where God lifted you up. I'm not a man that fought. See, I'm not a fool. If you were not there with me when I was down, I will never lift you up with me when I'm up. It's impossible. Be humble, sir. Your, your promotion lies in God's hands. Pray with humility. Don't pray looking down on others. Lift your voice and begin to pray where you are. Someone say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly, Heavenly Father. Father. Any form of iniquity in me. Any form of iniquity in me. Resisting answers to my prayers. Resisting answers to my As I lift my voice in prayer. As I lift my voice have mercy, O Lord. Have mercy, O Lord. Have mercy, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to talk to your father. Is your father? It's not a judge. It's not judging you or condemning you. It's your father. Pray, pray, pray. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy, O Lord. Have mercy, O God. 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 Oh, oh, oh.
form of iniquity. Any Lord, I refuse to cover my sins. I refuse to cover my weaknesses. Whosoever covereth his sins shall not prosper. I refuse to hide it, Lord. You are my father. You are my lover. You are my maker. You are my creator. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I was number two point. Why, why prayers are not answered? Absence, Absence of faith. faith. Absence of faith. Praying without faith is a waste of time. Mm. Please write this down. If you pray without faith, you cannot change your faith. That's right. If you pray without faith, F-A-I-T-H, you cannot change your faith. F-A-T-E. Mm. We're going to pray. Yes, Lord. Lord, make me not just a praying machine mm. but one that prays with active faith mm. someone say heavenly father heavenly, heavenly father, father as i begin to pray as i begin to pray oh lord, oh lord, oh lord make me a praying machine 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 not just one that prays not, not just, just one, one that prays pray. but one that prays with faith in action but one that prays with faith in action in the name of jesus lift your voice and begin to pray 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 With God, all things are possible. When we pray in the heaven, in the name of Jesus. And what's the third one? The presence of fear in prayer. The presence of fear in prayer. Father, I will not be imprisoned by fear. Amen. No matter what storm is raging. Yes, Lord. Amen. When I pray, my heart will not be arrested by fear. Yes, Lord Jesus. Take your eyes off the storm. Yeah. We we'll lift our voice. Someone say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. As I begin to pray. As, as I, begin I begin to, to pray. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. oh Lord! oh Lord! oh Lord! My may my heart never be arrested by fear. May, may my heart never, never be arrested by fear. fear. When I pray, when I pray, may my heart, may my heart never be arrested by fear. Never be arrested by fear. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice and begin to pray. Begin to pray. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, pray, pray. Pray, 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 pray. May my heart never be arrested by fear. 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 Pray, 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 pray. May my heart never be arrested by fear, oh God. May my heart never be arrested by fear. May my heart never be arrested by fear. When I pray, when I cry to you, oh God, in a place of prayer, in the name of Jesus. Fourth point in prayers. Why prayers are not answered? Misfiring in prayer. Misfiring in prayer. And what Bible verse did I give us? James 4, 1 to 3. James chapter 4, verse 1 to 3 and 4. It's a, verse 3 says, When ye ask, when you ask, it's not like God cannot answer. Mm. But we pray amiss because we ask according to our lusts. Mm. Ye ask and receive not because you ask amiss. 
that you may consume it upon your lust. Mm. God will not bless you with 10 million so you can buy Mercedes to prove a point. Mm. Stop praying. See, stop thinking God will answer your prayer so that you can prove a point to your mates. Mm. God answering and blessing you is not to prove a point. Not at all. It's to lift others up. That's right. God doesn't bless you to match with your mate and say we have eh, at least I'm on par with them. Mm -mm. That's nonsense. You pray, you've not received because why? You want to get the answers to what? Feed your lust. That you may consume it on your lust. So lift your voice, repeat after me. Someone say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, as I begin to pray, as I begin to pray, oh Lord, oh Lord, Lord help me, help me to pray, to pray with godly perspective, with godly in prayer life. In my prayer help life. me, Lord, help me, Lord, equip me, equip me to, pray to pray with godly directing and godly perspective. And godly perspective. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice, up. open your mouth, up. begin to pray, 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 pray. pray, pray, pray. Help me pray with godly directing, godly perspective. Help me pray, pray, pray with godly perspective, godly directing. In Shadavaya, in Shadavaya, in Lavaya. Help me pray with godly perspective. I do not want to pray and miss her. I do not want to pray and consume answers on my flesh or on my loss of God. Help me pray. Help me, help me. Help me, help me. Help me, help me. Help me, help me. To pray with Godly perspective. Godly directed. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And our fifth one. Pray without the scripture. Praying without the scripture. I said when you pray, you must align your words with scripture. Mm. It is Bible, the scripture puts life when you pray. Just if sometimes just randomly. Whatever is there, just study for that day. Have it? Even on the train, on the bus. Two minutes, two minutes, just open it. Listen to me. Master a Bible verse a day. Recite it until it sticks one day. Do it for 365 days. That means you already know 365 verses. Round in the head. So you know it, you'll be a walking Bible. Your head will be Genesis. It work like Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers. As you stand, Deuteronomy is pouring out. You are in the toilet, you are urinating the, um, Galatians. Yeah? As you lift your armpit, efficiency is coming out. Jesus. You do your hair, crack, you hear Colossians. Yeah? As you are brushing your teeth, John is coming out. You rinse your mouth, first John. Wash your teeth, second John. Rinse your tongue, third John. You just turn to a monopolized Bible. My God. The time is coming, this book will be banned. So all you will know about the world is what you know in your head. You can never quote scripture and prayer if you don't get nurtured by the scripture. Give me discipline to study the Bible. Jesus. Lift your voice. Someone say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. I receive grace, I receive grace to, be to be disciplined in studying the Bible, in studying, in the Bible. studying the Scripture, studying the scripture. getting nurtured by the Scripture. By the in the name of Jesus. I'm good man. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Pray, 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 pray. To study the scripture. To study the scripture. To study the scripture. Rest of all. Rest. Help me mature in the world. Help me mature in the scripture. Help me mature in the Bible. Help me mature from Genesis to Revelation. Exodus, Deuteronomy. Leviticus, Numbers. Hey, Ezra, Samuel. Nehemiah, Zechariah, Zephaniah. Elijah. The book of Kings of God. The book of the prophets. Help me study. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Hey, help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. To study holy prophets. To read Bible. To 
roll the story of David. The pain of Jesus. The afflictions of the apostles. The persecution of the first church. Help me study the world. Help me know the story of John the Divine. Help me, Lord. Discipline me to the world. Help me get discipline in the world. Help me find time. Organize my time to study the world. Help me organize my time to study the world. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And the sixth one, very quickly. Lack of patience. Slow. Impatience. Give me grace. Listen to me. Impatience makes. Oh, thank you, Father. I thank you for this. The Lord said, impatience deprives you of this moment's joy. Mm. Impatience, de it deprives you of this moment's joy. The now joy. Mm. So must say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly, Heavenly Father. Father. The virtue and the fruits of the Spirit. The, the virtue and the fruits of the, fruits of the Spirit. Spirit. Called patience. Called patience. As I pray, O God. As, as I pray, O God. God. As I pray, O God. As, as I, pray, I pray, O God. God. Let this patience. Let this let the fruit called patience come alive in me. Help me walk with you patiently. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice and begin to pray, 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 pray. Help me trust the process with you. Help me trust the process with you. Help me trust the process with you, God. May I walk patiently with you. May I walk patiently with you. Help me 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 walk patiently to go through my process with you patiently. Help me, help me, help me. Help me, help me, help me. Help me, help me. Help me walk patiently with you. Help me walk patiently with you. Help me trust the process. Help me trust the process. Help me trust the process you are taking me. Hey, la cosa balaya. In la baba baba ya. In the name of Jesus. I gave us seven. What is the last one? We carry on tomorrow. Spirit of pride. We carry on tomorrow. Spirit of what? Pride. The Bible says, humble yourself before the Lord. And he shall lift you up. Someone say, Father, uproot pride. Any element of pride in me, let it die to his roots. And give me grace to be humble. Amen. Someone say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly as Father, I begin to pray, begin every to pray. element of pride in me, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, let it die to his roots. Pride, die to your roots. Tonight, tonight, in place of pride, in place of pride, I receive grace, I receive grace to be humble, to be humble before you. Before you. Lift your voice, uh, open your mouth, uh, and begin to pray. Uh, for the Bible says, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves, uh, Lord, I'm humbling myself tonight. Of pride and receive grace to be 
humble. Grace, grace, grace. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands. I bless you. I pray for you today. You rise up in God as you remain humble before God in the name of Jesus. Amen. You become a woman and a man of faith in the name of Jesus. Amen. The haven shall be known as a house of faith with evidence in the name of Jesus. Amen. We will not pray amiss because we start begin to pray in perspective and with godly directive in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Every spirit of fear operating in anyone's heart. Yes, Lord. By the reason of the storm that might be in front of the Father today, I arrest, I bind, and I rebuke, sending out devil called fear back to the bottomless pit of hell, never to return into the life of anyone connected here in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We bless you, O oh God. Thank you, Jesus. When we pray, Lord, we ask that we will not pray amiss. Amen. Lead us and yes, do us good. Amen. In Jesus' name, say amen. Amen.